The scoreboard this month reads Boeing Naseba 5 SpaceX 1. So why is SpaceX grinning, and Boeing is groaning on September 7, Boeing's X-37B military drone space shuttle lifted off from Cape Canaveral on its fifth mission for the U.S. Air Force. What mission would that be, you ask top secret? But for the first time ever, Boeing which built the X-37B didn't have a hand in actually launching the spacecraft it built. This could be the beginning of a bad trend for Boeing. Meet the X-37 robotic space shuttle. Boeing built it and Boeing just lost a chance to launch it. Image source NASA. Winning before beginning to compete you see, in all previous launches, X-37B had lifted off aboard Atlas V launchers operated by Boeing, and its partner in United Launch Systems, Lockheed Martin Iselt. For this month's launch, however, the U.S. Air Force awarded the X-37B launch contract to SpaceX. Now, that news in and of itself isn't a total shock. SpaceX and United Launch Alliance have been butting heads for several months now ever since the Air Force certified SpaceX to launch payloads for it, in fact. In one notable clash, in May 2016, SpaceX bid against the Boeing Lockheed joint venture for the right to launch a GPS satellite for the Air Force. SpaceX bid $82.7 million, or 40% less than the best price the Air Force had hoped to extract from EULA, and won the contract. Chances are, if both SpaceX and EULA had entered similar bids to launch X-37B, the result would have been the same. What was really curious about this contract, though, is that EULA apparently wasn't offered a chance to compete at all. In a published statement, United Launch Alliance asserted that EULA did not have the opportunity to bid for the Air Force's fifth X-37B orbital test vehicle OTV mission. Now, when asked by Reuters, the Air Force declined to confirm Boeing's story that the Air Force awarded the contract to SpaceX without soliciting other bids. But assuming the story is true, that would mean that SpaceX did not really beat EULA in winning this contract. Given that EULA and SpaceX are the only two space launch companies certified to launch national security missions, and given that EULA was not allowed to bid, the X-37B contract would have gone to SpaceX by default. What it means for Boeing and Lockheed Martin the big question is why according to the Air Force, the main reason it is certified both SpaceX and EULA to launch USAF payloads is to ensure the service has flexible and responsive launch options to choose from when launching its satellites. A secondary objective, almost certainly, is to lower its launch costs by forcing SpaceX and EULA to compete on price. But if that's what the Air Force wants to accomplish, then why would it not invite EULA to bid for the X-37B contract was it? Because the Air Force already knows that EULA cannot compete with SpaceX on price. Or does the answer perhaps lie in EULA's creative use of the phrase, did not have the opportunity parsed one way? What EULA might really have been saying was that it didn't have the opportunity i.e. ability to match SpaceX's prices, and so decided not to bid at all. Either way, as more than one dozen Air Force space launch contracts come up for bid between now and 2019, the outlook doesn't look good for Boeing and Lockheed. Whether the Air Force is rejecting the possibility of EULA being able to compete with SpaceX out of hand, or whether EULA is recusing itself, either way, it looks like a lot of money could slip through EULA's fingers and into SpaceX's pocket instead. By the way, following its successful launch of X-37B this month, SpaceX successfully relanded its Falcon 9 launcher back at Cape Canaveral its 16th such successful landing of a used rocket. So the scorecard for landing reusable rockets now stands at SpaceX 16 Boeing and Lockheed Martin 0.